So basically we had a uh, first I'll start my server rails server and then let's wait for the server to get started. So yes server is running let's refresh this page. So basically we had a photo here. Uh, I give, uh, in last tutorial I took a small task to how to align this center. So basically so since you can see that this is a flex box. So align flex box to center is justify content. You have basically few types of justify content. That is center, flex end, the end would move to move this end, start would be keep it as starting. Then basically there are a few things, space around, space between, so space even the. So you can opt for any. So basically the best one you can choose for is center. Okay. And so basically you have to put center and then you can see that this is in center. So let's click on inspect and let's check. Yeah, it's even it's here. It's center. So this is a flex class. So let's we will give this a style is equal to justify content center. So let's refresh this. Now we have perfectly moved to this. So this was a good good thing to know about. And now let's move to let's create a model. So basically, uh. This is our uh, like project directory. So I have opened this in terminal so that it gives you a clear view. So I could do the same thing in the VS Code terminal, but that's why I've opened a terminal here uh, to like to have a good overview. So now we are going to perform something. Let's create Rails generate generate model article. Okay, or let let's keep it as post Rails generate a uh, model post. So post is something you uh, like. Uh, like you define something a post which has a like a title so that is a string and it has a text so that is a uh, you can say uh, like this is title is string and you have a description description so basically that is of text data type so let's run this and now you can see that it has created a, a model and now we can do rails db so basically model is like a creating a ta table in your database now we want to uh, permanently move to this uh, table so we want this to like migrate this into database so we had created a model which defines that we are going to create something with a title string and description text now let's create rails db migrate and uh, then you can see that this uh, should be created uh, permanently in the database. So here it says this has been created. Created table post and the descriptions we have already mentioned what we are going to create. So okay before you perform few operations with the like uh, this table or model which I say. So basically so you can interact with this inside rails console. Okay, so please type rails console and then you have interactive rails shell to work with. Then you can interact with this, uh, this inside the rails console. So let's type post, but it will, it will, it shall throw an error because it says post, call post dot connection to establish a connection. Okay. So that's why I did this post dot connection. So this, so we have made a connection. So it, like it throws out a good amount of things so we shall ignore this okay and okay i have missed out on my cursor yes so we can type uh clear this you can type uh you can type control l control l control plus l so this would clear out okay so okay control plus l and now this would clear out and now you have now let's take a post make post a is equal to post okay so basically it defines uh, a so id is an integer title is a string description is a text created at is a date time updated at a date time okay so let's give a dot title is equal to hello okay okay undefined okay 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 so uh, i'll tell you what's the issue with this uh, see so basically uh, we need to call the constructor so you can for a second ignore this 
so we will call a is equal to post dot new okay now you see we get a post id is nil title is nil description nil created id is nil update id is nil but at that time what i was doing i was doing a is equal to post which eventually meant a is equal to post which is a is equal to post so which is by default meant this that post and which was returning this okay so this is the class post is a class now a which i have created is equal to post dot new is, is the object of that class or you can say the instance of that class now post is a class and a a is equal to post dot new is the object of that class because we have called the new as a constructor so let's define a and let's do a dot title is equal to hello and a dot description is equal to word okay now we type a so we have title is equal to hello and description is equal to word uh, now to save this inside our database we should call a dot saved so it says two which means it has been uh, saved in our database and let's call a again so it says id one title is hello world description is world and this is the created at and updated at uh, things which is throwing and one thing you can see it also gives out the sql query insert into post and title description created updated values should be this 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 and this so this is how it creates it into database let's create another one uh, let's the first call post as a class so it's not necessary to call it every time but i'm showing you again now let's call b is equal to post dot new let's call b so this is a post is has been this is the nil let's write b dot title title is equal to programming uh, either we can say ruby okay and b dot description this is equal to rails simple let's call b again and it says this and let's call b dot save then it shall clear save this inside the database okay now we have two posts one is this and another is this so to access all the posts you could call post dot all simply okay so it gives all the posts you have so this is one one with the id one and another is with the id two here you can see this is the id two and this is the id one so both the posts you get uh then we can call post dot find find is like i'll show show you post dot find one like find the post with the id one it so it finds us for us for that now we can say in the similar way call post dot find to this you could also call post dot where id id uh you uh, like we call id okay there's some issue with my command line okay post dot where id is equal to 1 so where and what's the difference between the uh, find and post uh, find and where so this is a, uh, this is the another way of doing the same thing but find has a limit 1 okay so so we have learned about like how to create now let's move to how to like let's do something uh, something new uh, let's make post dot find post dot find two so let's make post now let's change this title to title is equal to ruby uh ruby new okay so we have b and let's b dot description Is equal to rails new and let's see so we do b dot save so this is our update operation okay so say ye update post see update post set title is it description this and these are the value uh, we could also do post dot find to and destroy so basically this forms a delete operation so we have learned how to like perform all the four crud operation that is create delete update and delete on the rails console so now we are going to implement this same thing with the ui so thank you everyone for watching this i'll catch you in the next tutorial thank you